firefighters from five departments rushed to the Chateau Village apartments this morning to put out the flames. The fire was so intense, some people were jumping from second story balconies to get out of the building. WLKY Shaquille Lord is live at the scene right off there of Popolovo Road in Newburgh with new information. Shaq? Yeah, Jennifer, fire crews say the flames were so rough, it was unpredictable. Certainly the cold weather and the wind played a factor. Now it took 40 firefighters several hours just to come, just to uh, contain these flames. You can kind of see some of the damage. Now within the past few hours, some plywood sheets have been uh, put on these on this building right over here crews have been here kind of trying to restore it now i spoke with one of the several residents who jumped into action to help save their neighbors i came outside early in the morning smoked a cigarette and then uh it was engulfed paris nash doesn't want to be called a hero he says he did what he hopes any other person would do in his situation i had my shoes then i went back inside to get a, a steel chair to break a window so i can help my other neighbor get his, his wife out. Nash was joined by neighbors who worked to rescue others trapped inside the Chateau Village apartments as the flames engulfed part of the building around three Friday morning. Crews first pulled up. There were individuals hanging out the windows. So that was their primary concern uh, upon arrival. They went straight into rescue mode. Five people were injured, including two firefighters. Once everyone was out of the building, it took crews hours to just control the flames. The second roof collapsed onto the first roof, so there are structural damage there as well. Eight units are considered a total loss. 20 in total were impacted by the fire. That's according to the Red Cross. They're working now to assist the 45 people displaced, 30 adults, and 15 children. We will try to help them as best as they can to recover and work through this. The property managers are working with us. The property owners are working with us to help them recover. As it's just a week out before Christmas, Nash says his prayers are with those who lost their home. It's sad. It's sad. Right? People work and they do things to, to make sure they can maintain what they had. They had children and everything. And when surveying the damage, fire crews tell me it's really a miracle no one has died from this. Now, the Louisville Metro Arson team is investigating how this fire got started. For right now, reporting live in the Newburgh area, I'm Shaquille Lord, WLKY News. Back